Hello everyone, welcome to Ubis Gallery. I hope you guys are doing well. From the latest industry update to the hottest new models, we are here to keep you charged with electrifying news and updates. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a shockingly good news or updates. The Avatar 12 electric hatchback from Chang'an, Seattle and Huawei was revealed at the IAA Mobility 2023 in Munich, Germany. It is a sporty hatchback that will hit the mass production on September 6. The Avatar 12 has up to 578 horsepower and massive screen inside. Let's get to know it better. First, we will remind you that the Avatar was initially founded as a joint project between Chang'an New Energy and NIO in 2018. However, NIO distanced from this JV later. As a result, the Chinese EV maker was replaced by the biggest domestic battery maker, CATL. Currently, Chang'an holds over 40% of the share, while CATL owns over 17%. The rest belongs to various investment funds. As for the Huawei, it isn't a shareholder in this JV. However, it acts like the main supplier, providing Avatar electric motors, brains, and other parts. Let's start with the appearance of the Avatar 12. As we can see that it follows the brand's design language as that was introduced with the Avatar 11 SUV back to the Avatar 12. It has bi-leveled running lights and high beam integrated into the front bumper. The 12 has a sporty touch which is an active grille in the lower part of the bumper. Speaking about the general production of this vehicle, it strongly reminds the Porsche Panamera. However, some folks in China, social media also compared it with the Bugatti 16C Galley Beer. The Avatar 12 has standard 8 pillars, a slope roofline, and a relatively low belt line. Speaking about dimensions of the Avatar's electric hatchback, they are 50 20, 1999, 40 60 mm with a wheelbase of 30 20 mm. Clarity it is 29 mm shorter, 62 mm wider, and 37 mm lower than dimension Panamera. As for the Avatar 12's wheelbase, it is 70 mm longer than Panamera. We should definitely highlight that the Avatar 12 isn't got a rear window. Instead, it has a large panoramic roof, but of course, its visibility is limited, so you will need to look at the rear view camera most of the time. Speaking about the camera, this EV hatchback has side view cameras instead of traditional mirrors. Inside, the Avatar 12 has a mix of minimalistic styling and high quality materials. The center panel has a giant floating touchscreen with a row of physical buttons under it. Speaking about the center panel, it sits really below. About the console, we can see a giant screen that acts like in an instrumental panel. It is about a meter long and has a customizable display. We should also highlight that this screen is surrounded by two more monitors that project image from side view cameras. The center tunnel of the Avatar 12 has two wireless charging pads, a pair of cup holders, and a single air vent. As for the gear lever, it sits right behind the overall shape, sporty steering wheel. The Avatar 12 stands on the EP1 architecture and supports the CHN platform developed by Chinese again Huawei and CTL. In terms of powertrain, the Avatar 12 got two options. The first one is rear-wheel drive with 230 kilowatt, and the second one is four-wheel drive with 425 kilowatt. So this is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the news. Please give a like the video and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.